And if I took a loss, I'm a boss in my hood Whoa. I'm sounding like I'm boss in the hood Double cross me, I leave you on the cross in the hood I'm good, I got new money Please follow my socials, they are tagged down below, also in the description box. Uh, if you got any questions about these shoes or any other shoes that I review on my channel, you might want to hit me up on one of my platforms, preferably IG. All right, while you at it, hit that like button, hit that bell, drop a comment. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you do daily content. All right, with all that being said, let's get straight into it. Today's pickup was the Fear Threes. Fear threes. Now these came back. These came back out. Um, they came back out originally. I forgot what year, but they came out the pack with the threes, the fives, and the fours. I um I was able to get all of them back then when they came out. They did not come in this box. This box is dope. I do love this box. It's different. You got the orange popping on it. I mean, it's fire. I do love it. But it did not come in this box back in the day. I believe it just came in, the, in a regular box. Um, I can't remember exactly what year. But yeah, I got it from Finish Line or JD Sports today. Picked them up from uh, JD Sports. We got the paper. So they got that writing on the paper and all that. See, back in the day, they had the, the insoles of these shoes was different. Like these don't got it. And they got a, a YCM stamp right here too. So those got a I'm gonna legit check your joint and remember the YCM stick is always a little bit different. You can see like kind of like lines in the background on the fake joints. You don't see that. Also, there's a stamp right here. All right. So let's get into the shoe. Yeah. Uh, so when the shoe came back, when it came out back then, it had all those words that's on the box written on the insole of the shoe. Um, I don't know why they didn't do that now, but you know, they always got to do something different because you know. On top of it, a long time ago, collabs and stuff didn't redrop. You know, collabs, limited joints, they never redrop. But nowadays, they've been redropping like everything. I remember they they even re-released the DB fives and sixes and all that. And I'm I'm, I'm not even too sure if it's a re-release. The sticker came off. Re-release or um, it was just leftover pairs. But let's give a nice 360 for this shoe. Hopefully, it's all in the frame. Cause I cannot see myself. But um, beautiful shoe. It was back then, and it is now. See, back then this was my favorite out the pack. Um, and then and then the fives. I love. I like the threes and the fives. The fours, they were nice. But it was like until somebody put them on their feet. I forgot who it was. I think it was some Asian influencer, and they skyrocketed like crazy. The fear fours. Um, but these was always like the least, uh, worth the least. The fives and the fours were worth the most. But um, to me, I like these. Like, they just was fire, fire, fire. And back then, they came with a hang tag. So, see, I just did a review on some women Jordan 3s uh, yesterday. And they came with the hang tag. And these right here, they did not come with a hang tag. My man was just telling me that, um, that he went to the store to go pick some up. And he went through, like, five or six pairs. And he couldn't accept any of them because the QC was so bad. I'm lucky that these was fire right here. Um, and I'm not really too picky about my shoes anyway. I never really was. Like back in the day when I would cop, I would just make sure that, you know, there was no big scuffs on the shoe and then that's pretty much it. But I love the material on here. Hopefully you can see that. I mean, that's that's fire. I love the um, tumble leather right there. And it's, so it's like a, a sh really short hair suede. You can see, um, you can see some motion on it. I don't know if it's, the camera's picking it up, but it definitely got that. I love the tumble to it. I love how they hit it with the sleek toe box. Cause back then when these came out, it didn't have like a sleek toe box like that. You feel me? So I do like these. It's just the insoles. I don't know why they didn't give us some damn insoles, but it is what it is. We got the jump man on the back. Would have been nice with the Nike Air. Whew, I think these things would have went crazy with the Nike Air. Since they want to change it up, they might as well have just did it with the Nike Air. But, um, yeah, beautiful shoe, man. The quality on here is, is dope. You got this kind of fake suede on the tongue. It's not really, it's not, 
I don't know what you would call that, Durabuck or whatever. But yeah, that's like a fake suede on the tongue. And um, everything else is, is nice. Because even the suede back here on the collar and on the eyelids right here is a, a good suede. It's just this suede right here. I wouldn't even... I don't even know if that's Durabuck. I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. But um, it don't feel too bad. But you can tell it's different. And you got like that cracked leather right here. On the mug guard, cracked leather, and of course the elephant print in gray. You got the gray that transitions on the midsole. It's just a, a really, really dope shoe, in my humble opinion. Um, I got it. All right, look, this is the story. I got these from Finish Line, and like all the times I cop from Finish Line, I never use a coupon. I always forget. So this time I was like, yo, can I use a coupon? And the lady was like, sure, but you got to donate $5. And I said, what? I yeah, donate $5. I'm like, who, who am I donating this $5 to? Is it like a charity or something? And she couldn't answer who, who I'm doing, I guess, to the store or something for their commission or something. I'm like, that's like bribery right there. What you mean? I can't use my coupon code? Oh, so I was like, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to just pay full price like I normally always do. Then I was like, nah, hold up. I spent a lot of money with Finish Line. You're telling me I can't use my coupon for myself? It's not about the five dollars. It's about it's the, the principle. I never ever use any coupons. I finally want to use one. I gotta spend four thousand of my points on the app just to get the twenty dollar coupon. So um, I feel like I wanted to use the coupon. I'm you know get money off myself. Plus I know these are gonna sit and they're gonna go on sale. So I'm like, yo, let me get you know what I mean. Let me use my coupon. And she was like, all right, all right, you can use it. So I use my coupon. But the moral of the story is, they be out here trying to finesse in them stores. And it's crazy because we spending all this money. I feel like they down bad. They not really making commission or money like that. So they trying every which way to do that. And I understand. I understand. But um, man, I spent too much money on sneakers and a lot of other things too as well. So I got to save every dollar I can. You know what I mean? Um, once I get into that position where I can just donate all the time, I wouldn't mind doing it. But that's a little story. Find it kind of weird. Let me know if you had a similar experience. Well, let me know if I'm tripping too. I could be tripping, but um, you know, I was, the first time I'm using my coupon, I want I want to use the whole twenty dollars, but um, and I spent four thousand of my own points to get that twenty dollars off the app. So I don't know. I could be tripping, but you already smell the vibes, man. I love y'all. Thanks for rocking with your boy. You feel me? The love is real. You know I love y'all back, man. At the end of the day, rock what you like, not cause it's hype. Stand out and never blend in. Highlight me till next time. You heard? One hundred.